Hello beautiful Libra, welcome into my channel. Miss Reamy Healings, my name is Reem. Welcome into your reading. This is going to be for Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus Libra. I am going to do your I'm going to do your spiritual growth, your personal development, healing, and guidance messages, and then I will flow into your romantic love life reading, okay? Nope. So I'll timestamp in the comment section down below when your love reading begins. Um, but right now, let's, let's flow with spirit on the messages that they gave to me. So they said that you are falling to space was the channeled message that they gave to me for you that you're falling to space um, and they gave me a very interesting um, visualization that you were on top of earth so this is earth this was you on top of earth and earth was like turning earth was shifting it was kind of like and in being inverted and then all of a sudden you were at the bottom and it was as if like, you know, there was no more gravity and then you fell into the space. And this is all very symbolic. So falling is to me is the surrendering and letting go energy. And the space that you were falling into was actually a space that is getting ready to integrate itself with you. And when I mean by that, it feels like this, that you're adapting to an energy that you actually co-created. So I feel like the space that you're falling into is a new space it's a new reality. It's something that you actually have co-created by learning the lessons of the past and by visioning the future. So you had a vision for the future and you took all the lessons of the past and you kind of merged these two energies to create a new space in your now movement, in your now moment, which is why they said that you're falling to space. You're falling into a new moment in time, which is a new creation, a new reality. I also had this feeling that you were just using a lot of magic. You were using a lot of pure source magic. And one of the purest source, purest forms of magic is actually within the earth. It's within the natural world. And I kind of like, I felt like a fairy as soon as I came, I came out. <laughs> I came into the woodlands, into my backyard. I honestly felt this fairy frequency come through. And then I tapped into your energy with, and I felt all of this creativity energy, this, um, your energy. And, and I saw, I kind of like envisioned myself as a fairy. I actually wanted to sit up there and like, um, I don't know, it's very like forest, foresty up there, but, um, I decided not better not. <laughs> But, um, you know, fairies tap into pure source earth magic from the earth. Okay, so that's what I felt for you. That's what I felt like you were doing. Ooh, that wind. Oh, I, didn't, I did not plan this. I, but anyways, I had to do your reading outside. I really had to do your reading outside, so... Here I am. Oh, where's the sun now? Sun's in there behind my house. Look at look where I broke it on. Manifestation. I gotta take that. Look at this. Look at this. Wish is granted underneath that. I gotta take that. I gotta take it. Look at it. Believe in your abilities as a magic maker to manifest your wishes. They will soon be your reality. Manifestation. Soon you may manifest the goal, the goal you focus spiritual energies upon. Look at these two cards. This is the space that you fell into. Spirit said you fall to space. You're falling to space. This is the space that you're falling into. Or maybe you flew into. I don't know. I'm seeing a butterfly and a person with wings. So this is you. This is you. The birds are gathering here on the fence. This is you. It's interesting because I'm seeing these two cards. Look at the sky. I'm seeing this, this card right here as this like ethereal spiritual energy dimensional frequency and it's birthing this reality. Does that make sense? This is the sky. This is the magical sky. This is what it, it creates. This is the magic that it creates. 
This space right here, see how it's just all blue? There's magic in here. It's actually creating and building this home. This butterfly right here, look, look at the space. Look at the space of the butterfly. It's this space that it creates, it created you. You're the butterfly. So you were manifested. So this is a byproduct of this energy. So you're the byproduct of this butterfly. See how you evolved? This is very symbolic of your transformation, but also transformation of the reality that you fell to, that you co-created or that you flew into. <laughs> okay, so you're the butterfly. Here you are transformed. And this space right here is earth. See that? So this is the magic of, of the earth right here. This is the magic of the sky. This is the magic, and this is the byproduct of this magic. This magic is actually you. You need to believe in your abilities as a magic maker. So this is the earth. This is, this is the magic. This is the manifestation, the creation of this magic. This is the byproduct. Look at all of the blooming flowers that your feet are walking on, that you're grounding into. That's so beautiful. There's actually a... Um, a bird it's holding a heart so this is to me this is all about self-love see how joyous and filled in love you are here in the space that you are in that you co-created it's almost like the more self-love that you poured into yourself the more that it was expanded out into your space and it created this beautiful now experience so beautiful so beautiful you are a magic maker <gasps> you are a magic maker believe in your magic believe in your magic oh my god that is gorgeous i love how that kind of just came out okay libra let's get into the tarot Some of, I don't know why I'm getting this message. Some, it might be a message for one person. Some of you, you're actually building a home. Maybe you're building a home with your own hands or um, if, if uh, I'm, I'm feeling a father figure. If, did a father figure for some of you build a home? Because I'm seeing it being an inherited down to you. I don't know. It could be some sort of inheritance. Um, anyway. I'm feeling like someone, if it's not you, it was someone in your family that built a home with their own hands, okay? I feel like you're really valuing that. You're valuing the power of building something on your own. Okay, this is why this magic maker frequency is coming through so heavily for you, okay? So whether or not that did happen for you or not, it doesn't matter. Take it as it resonates. That's why they're showing me that, um, that message. Okay, you're really valuing the power of building and making something of your own. Okay? I hope that I hope that makes sense. Okay. Um, one more shuffle. Okay. Okay, let's break this. Look at my hair everywhere. I did not plan this with the wind. <laughs> wow, you have here the world. It's a new world. You're creating something new. The way, this is so interesting, the way that I see this. I don't know, I see this as piano keys. And then I see this as a, a, a new skin snake. Like you're peeling uh, out, a, out a layer and the new layer is being formed. And then I see here like these flowers that are newly blossoming. See here, these are like the seeds of the flowers. That's that magic frequency, the seeds. And then here they are bloomed and blossoming. So here it's like the, the closer you get to the center, the more uh, of this frequency kind of opens up and expands out and evolves. Okay, so this is a new rhythm that you're shedding into. You're falling into the space right here. This is the space that they said. 
It's like you literally fell. It's like a portal opened up for you. You fell. <laughs> or maybe this portal washed over you. Kind of felt like this portal right here descended onto you. I don't know. But they showed me you fell to this space. But again, very symbolic. Okay. Very, very symbolic. Um, but anyways, new beginnings. Okay, it's closing, completing. But you're closing out a lot of different things. You're, it's, I'm seeing this as an onion now. Okay, you're closing out many different layers of self. Okay, and through that, you're birthing a new, you're birthing a new self, a new sense of self, right? With that transformation energy. Wow, look at this Ace of Pentacles. I mean, I've seen these cards so many times before. But I'm like seeing this as this cracking open. Do you see that? It's like it, it's cracking open and this, there is a mat new. This is Ace of Pentacles. This is, again, this earth magic that is like breaking out and blossoming into your now experience, into this new now experience that you are integrating with because you co-created it. You co-created it. Look at the Father of Wands. Creation frequency with the wands, creation, um, movement, action. Cobras are also very, very patient. They're very, very patient. They're, they're patient before they take an action. Sorry if you can hear my mom. Patient before an action. Okay, so I feel like you're about to take something on here. I feel like you are creating something that hasn't existed before. There's something in your now experience that hasn't existed before. And it's coming out of what you're creating. It's coming out of this magic. But you're also, I feel like you're innovating something that hasn't been um, that hasn't existed before in this plane. So you're in this very, you're in this innovative state right now. You're innovating something, innovating something that hasn't existed before. Lizard, ooh, this camouflage. You're, you're. Hmm. Why are you camouflaging? There's a snake. See, there's that shedding, right? That we talked about with the world. There's the shedding. The lizard. Why are you camouflaging? I feel like there's an there's something that you're being stimulated with that's your it's like you're blending in with your stimulus. I don't know what that means. You're blending in with your stimulus. Something is stimulating you and you're blending in with your stimulus. And it's almost like you're being one. You're integrated. It, you're integrated with it. You're blending in with your stimulus. The fire ants. The fire ants keep coming out. Keep coming out. The frog, the bringers of rain, there's that healing frequency coming in. It's so weird because I'm actually seeing this frog, this rain, it's actually cleansing out these, these ants out of the way. I'm seeing these ants as um, a distorted frequency. I'm seeing the frog, this rain, healing and clearing out all of the ants and um so that you could see clear so that you could see something clearer it almost looks like this energy right here doesn't it doesn't this ace of pentacles look like this energy right here too see there's something oh my hair is in my mouth now <laughs> okay um something is cracking open 
Okay, this magic freq this magic maker frequency that you're holding within yourself, you're tapping into it from the natural world. Okay, you're manifesting something here. You're you're falling to space that you have that you are creating. Okay, it's blooming. It's 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 bear it's bearing fruit. You need to believe. You need to believe in your capabilities. You need to believe in your magic. Okay? And I feel like these ands are coming across to me as, um, I don't want to say like, uh, perhaps doubts for some of you. Ooh, for, for some of you, it's doubts. Okay. Sorry, one second. Let me go get that card. Ooh, that wind. Oh, it's the Eight of Swords that flew. I'm taking that as a sign. I'm totally taking that as a sign. Because I feel like these are distortions. These ants. Okay? And the rain is coming down, washing it away, and showing you a way in. Showing you a way in. This honestly feels like a portal. Look at all the center points right here. Showing you a way. It's showing you a way in, but it's also showing you a way out, right? Because you're shedding, you're releasing something, right? The shedding. So it's showing you a way out and it's showing you a way in to the space. To the space here. Does that, I hope that makes sense. And then there's also this frequency here of the earth that's cracking open that you're also tapping into. I feel like that's your stimulus. I feel like that's your stimulus. Your stimulus is the energy of the earth. The magic frequency of the earth is your stimulus and you're, you're camouflaging with your stimulus. So it's like you're becoming, you're becoming this magic. Okay, that's interesting. So you release the doubt. See, you're already a butterfly. <laughs> Look at that. You are already a butterfly. Look at that. You're ready. You're ready to come out of your cocoon. So for some of you, this distortion, it's all mental. It's doubt. The monarch butterfly needs to believe that it is a monarch butterfly, that it has wings to fly. So for some of you, you just need to believe in the magic that you have. I did a reading for you a long time ago and I said, are you a wizard? I, that's what I titled it. I'm like, are you a wizard? Yes. Yes. All right. But there's also something that you're being really patient about here with the, with the Father of Wands. So let's see what this is. Ooh, that wind is pollination. Ooh, look at my hair. I did not plan this. It's like in my mouth. All right, here we go. Father of Cups. See, I feel like you're standing out. The black swan black swans are rare so i feel like you're a rarity this magic that you're tapping into is a rarity your emotions your love your frequency there's something very rare about what you're tapping into very it's very it's very rare the, the very thing that you're creating the whatever the very thing that you're innovating has never existed before like you would never think black swans exist but they do so it's like that type of energy does that make sense you're innovating something that hasn't existed before it's rare you hear the two of swords the ace of cups look at that it's all from self-love all from self-love see seven of pentacles growth things are blo things are blooming things are blossoming for you wishes granted wishes wishes granted from self-love it's all from self-love. This is the magic maker frequency. The magic maker frequency is self-love. 
the more that you pour in, the more this love expands out. This is expansion energy. Okay, now I'm getting cold with this wind. Does that make sense? I hope so. Sorry, one second. All right. Oh, look, I'm wearing the, uh, my butterfly shirt today. <laughs> I knew I had to wear it today. Okay. So with the Two of Swords, this is interesting. What is this Two of Swords? What is this Two of Swords? So first of all, this is an eclipse. And we are in eclipse season. Okay? We are in eclipse season. I feel like, again, you're, you're eclipsing out to eclipse in. That's what this feels like. This two of swords, it feels like you're you're cutting ties with something, but that the thing that you're cutting ties with, it's like the the distortions and the belief systems and the doubts, right? It's like you're shedding more of those distortions, shedding shedding more of those layers. As soon as you do that, that's what gets eclipsed out. You fall into the space that you have co-created right here. There's something very um, prominent about the eclipse energy for you. This eclipse, this eclipsing energy, so to eclipse out, eclipses in. Whatever is being eclipsed in is coming very fast. Um, what I said, what we said, that this cobra was patiently waiting for something. Patiently waiting for something. This lightning is like the assurance to take that action, to take a step forward, to innovate, to create. Yes. It's like a yes to, to go. Okay, so there's something that you're waiting for. And this eclipse energy is bringing it in. It's like, it's a moment. It's a moment in time that you know it's like the right, it's the right time to move. Okay? Um, that's what I have for you. That's what I have. Okay. Let me see if there are any other messages. Okay. Let me move into your love life. Okay. So that was your... Whew, that was your, um spiritual growth message let me move into your love life for Libra okay okay so Libra for your love life Let's see. Let's see what we get. So it's very windy here, but I really needed to do your reading outside. For Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus on your love life. I have a really big disclaimer in the description box below. shuffle for Libra you've heard the fates number 17 oh we have so many underneath that all right then let me shuffle and get one more oh let me shuffle and get one more fork in the road I saw this on the bottom I didn't take it see this is why I take things on the bottom <laughs> They come out anyway. Okay. So if you're fork in the road, it's number 13. I feel like someone is... This is my two of wands card. I see this as a two of wands. 
sometimes the three of wands, but I see this as the two of wands, of needing, of making a choice. I feel like this is making a choice for oneself. I'm seeing this as a faith. Someone is embracing themselves. There was a lot of self-love in your um, in your reading, your spiritual growth reading. So I feel like making a choice, self-love brings in brings in brings in a counterpart for you. Choosing yourself in a situation brings in a counterpart for you. It's interesting, they're showing me the infinity sign. They're showing me um, one person on the other, on one end of the infinity, infinity sign and then, and then another person on the other end of the infinity sign. That's the way they're showing me. One person is here, the other person is here. And it kind of feels like you're bridging closer and closer together. Yeah, see, I see this fork in the road. I see this as choosing you. I don't know why. I, I love that. You're choosing yourself in a situation. When you choose yourself in a situation, Libra, it brings you to, to a counterpart. So let's see what's going on, okay? Let's see what's going on. This is the uh, Rider, Wait, Rider Waite Smith Tarot. Let me just take a sip of my water. There's a, a petal in my water. <gasps> From one of the trees. It's a little white petal. Also, I'll drink it. <laughs> as long as it's not a bug in my water. All right. The joys of reading outside. This is my first reading outside, and I didn't plan the wind or the dogs barking. Anyway. Okay, let's see. Ace of Pentacles. Okay. Four of Pentacles. The Chariot. The Magician. There's that magic maker frequency that we talked about in your spiritual growth reading. There's the Sun. Leo energy of Leo. Virgo Cancer energy here. Gemini energy I feel with the soulmates card and that reminds me of the lover's card. The fates is my Aquarius card, reminds me of the star, fate and destiny. Wow, you have actually three major arcanas right away. So you could be seeing three three three. Yeah, three three three. Thirteen thirteen as well. Yeah, there's another three. Yeah, you spirit. I'm seeing this as you and spirit. Wow, that's a lot, but let's take it. You have here the eight of swords. You did have the eight of swords in your spiritual growth message. You have here the nine of pentacles. So you could be single right now. Four of wands and the page of swords. This is so interesting because this is all I feel like your energy. Can we get a card? Can we get a card on the person that Libra is connected to? I feel like they're the chariot. Yeah. Eight of Wands. <gasps> they're they're the chariot. They're on the chariot. Ten of Ten of Cups. Yeah, Death and Hierophant. Okay, so Libra. I strongly feel like what's taking place here is that you were in a situation where you were at a fork in the road. Okay, this could be recent, in the recent past for some of you, or this could be in a current state situation. Okay, so depending on your timeline, it could be recent past, it could be 
it could be currently okay but you're at a fork in a road in a situation where you had to your lesson was choosing yourself first okay this is what i feel like triggered this energy here are the fates when you chose you it did something it triggered something when you chose you it triggered something it triggered movement it triggered the chariot and the eight of wands okay i do feel like in the recent past or again if you are in a current situation that you're kind of in the fork fork in the road i do see the situation ending here with death okay death four of pentacles three of pentacles i do see that someone was not all the way in i do see that someone was not putting in the same efforts as you i do see that this person was not trying to make it work holding back their efforts is what i'm saying like holding back their time holding back their efforts not giving okay not giving not putting in the work so you may have felt like you were doing all of the work in the relationship okay so i am seeing if i'm seeing this end if it hasn't already ended for for you guys okay i am seeing this situation end okay so again this could this could be in the recent past for some of you is the way that i'm reading it okay again depending on your timeline it ended because there's something higher there's some sort of higher love that you are attaining okay this 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 was a catalyst for your growth this taught you something new about yourself it really taught you self-love and i feel like in that situation you chose yourself see you're embracing yourself when you embraced yourself you learned some higher form of intellect knowledge the spiritual wisdom you learn something that just elevated your energy elevated your spirit and your vibration that much higher and that's why this soulmate and ace of pentacles is here as soon as you chose self-love this this comes in for you or coming in for you okay You're, this is something new this is something new that you created with the magician energy major ma magic maker frequency you created this with self-love okay and i was like wondering because this is all you this is all you your energy right here i do feel like you're still working on releasing some sort of restrictions here i do see you as single right now okay i um Again, there's, I don't feel anyone else's energy but you. Your energy is really, really like bright, sunny, um, is very much in the forefront. I really feel like it's you, it's, it's, it's you, it's you. You're the key to this. Do you see the key? Do you see here the key? you're the key to this you're the key and i feel like you're figuring this out i feel like you're figuring this out okay so it's taking a lot of energy it's taking a lot of strength it's taking a lot of healing um it's taking a lot of insight it's taking a lot from you to release the the doubts and the mental restrictions okay to believe in yourself to believe the magic that you have to believe in the power of love to believe in the power of self-love it's you they keep saying that they're like it's 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 you and then i was asking about see this this is the energy that's being released okay the four of cups the eight of swords yeah so you were you were in a situation that wasn't you weren't happy with okay but see the divine the divine is saying self-love self-love you choose you this comes in when you choose you something better comes in okay so that's the energy that's being transmuted this page of swords frequency this is me this is you to me this is telling me that you're getting more information about something 
you're getting more information. I feel like you're getting more information about yourself. I really feel like this whole journey, what you went through, has really taught you a lot about yourself. Really, really and truly taught you a lot about yourself. You ha And then I was asking about this other person, and I was like, I think they're on the chariot. And then the Eight of Wands fell right on top of the chariot. So I do feel like a new person is coming in for you. They're on the chariot. They could be a Cancer. It doesn't have to be. Okay, and the Ten of Cups did come out. So you are going to meet a counterpart. You're going to meet someone that matches your vibration. You're going to meet someone that is going to be on the same wavelength as you. Okay? S same wavelength as you. I'm seeing this in a new cycle of yours. If, like I'm I'm not seeing this right right away I'm seeing this in a new cycle okay new ace it's it's in a new cycle mm-hmm mm-hmm because there's a lot of shifts like from your spiritual growth reading there was a lot of shifts taking place. So I am seeing this in a new cycle. It's a, it's a very, it's a beautiful connection. It's a beautiful relationship. You're going to be really happy. The sun and the ten of cups. You're going to be very happy with the relationship that comes in. When it comes in, I do feel like things are going to shift quickly. Okay? That's also a message. When it comes in. So when it comes into your new cycle, I see the both of you shifting quickly. Ace of Pentacles. I see you moving through together, okay, through this new beginning. You're moving together through that. You're shifting together. There's going to be lots of communication in this connection. There's going to be a lot of give and take communication is what I'm seeing here with the Eight of Wands um, and lots of stability. How could I forget the Four of Wands sitting there? See, I, for I didn't see it. So this is me, this to me, this is spirit telling me that it's not happening right away. It's not happening like, I don't know, depending on everyone's timeline, um, it's in a new cycle. It's in a new cycle, okay, that it will happen. Okay. And then when it happens, I'm seeing lots of communication between the two of you. I am seeing really good communication between the both of you. This person is a good communicator because the Eight of Wands did fall on them and I did feel like they were the chariot. So I, I'm seeing that this person's attributes are they're a really good communicator. They move around a lot. They're a traveler. They're very worldly. They love to travel. So they're very, they're good on their feet. So they're not like... They're not like rooted in one place, but they're grounded. Does that make sense? Like they're grounded, but they're not rooted in like one particular place. Um, I feel like they make they make their home wherever their heart is. Okay, they make their home wherever their heart is. Um, I feel like they're gonna feel that way with you. Okay, so that that is very important to them because they're very worldly. They travel a lot. Um, this person may have. A child for some of you they do okay for others of you they they may not but I feel like I need to say that for someone um, I'm also seeing a blended family for some of you a blended family someone has two kids and the other one has one okay so you're gonna have three three family three kids I'm, I'm also seeing a like non-traditional wedding I'm seeing like um, I don't know why they're taking me in so far into the future that usually never happens um, they're showing me that there's going to be a non-traditional wedding it's like it's very it's rare it's different uh, that, that, that energy also came up in your spiritual growth message. It's rare and it's different. 
Um, this person is meant to cross your path here with the fates. Okay, they're meant to cross your path, right? Fork in the road. <laughs> so the decision that you made, remember, because they said it's it's you, it's you. This whole situation is about you. It's 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 up to you. It's you. So the decision that you made to put yourself first in a situation triggered this entire fate and destiny to come to life. And you're going to meet them on the path. You're going to meet them on the path that you chose. Okay? Um, this person is also very creative here with the magician. Again, they match your frequency because you're a magic maker. They also have these capabilities, but they create differently. Okay, they have other means of creativity. So it's going to be different than you, but you both have very creative avenues and creative paths. Um, I also see you guys, that, this is why they showed me the infinity. One person on one end and the other person on the other. And they're like, you guys are coming like closer and closer together. Yeah. See, that's why I'm saying like, it's, it's not, it, it, it's not yet. It's not yet, but soon, soon it's, it's, it's in your new cycle. And it's in a, it's in your new cycle and for a lot of you your new cycle is like right around the corner okay based on that spiritual growth reading that we just had i'm trying to i don't know i'm getting so much of their energy they're really coming through powerfully um their energy is very bright just like you just like you like your energy is like really in the forefront and then I, I talked about you now I'm talking about them as if they're the sun as if they're like here so there's a very beautiful balance between the two of you coming coming here um I'm also seeing this person single at this time they're not seeing or dating anybody um I'm seeing this person very light so this to me is that they don't have they're like they don't have baggage that they're carrying around with them because I, I see them like they move around uh they're very worldly like they love to travel they they love to move from space from place to place um so they don't carry that much with them this person could also just love to travel if if if, if that doesn't resonate with you guys but that's that's what i'm getting okay so they're very like quick on their feet they're quick on their feet. They're reminding me of like this um, coyote fox energy. I don't know why I'm saying that, but that could resonate for some of you. Um, but I'm th seeing this person like they think quickly on their feet. This person also loves to dance. Um, they love music. They love to dance. All right, let me get one on um, one final card just to close off this reading. I'm, I, don't, I never get messages about people like that. <laughs> no, excuse me. Okay. <laughs> Eight of Pentacles. <laughs> yeah. And yeah, see this person, they love to create. They love to create. They're a hard worker. They love to create. love to create okay so this is the message that i have um it's all in the works i just heard with this eight of pentacles i just heard it's all in the works it's all in the works okay anyways libra i hope this resonated i hope you guys enjoyed this message i hope you enjoyed the reading outside um i love you guys so very much i think i'll do readings outside more often it was fun until next time.